Assalamu alaikum. Today I discuss cortico bulbar tract related with facial nerve, facial nerve palsy, bell palsy. At first, what is cortico bulbar tract? Actually, it is a descending tract or motor tract, and there is a two neuron is present in this pathway: upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. The location of the upper motor neuron in the motor cortex of the cerebrum and location of the lower motor neuron at the brain stem nuclei. So this is the motor cortex and this is the nuclei of the facial nerve. So this is the cortico bulbar tract. You see the nuclei is divided into a upper part and lower part. The neuron of the upper part nuclei is controlled by both cerebral cortex. Both motor cortex control the neuron present in the upper part of the nuclei. But see the lower part of the nuclei contain neuron which is only controlled by opposite motor area. So, in upper motor type of lesion, the upper part is never paralyzed because upper part is supplied by motor cortex of both sides, but lower part is supplied by motor cortex of opposite side. So, in upper motor neuron lesions of the facial palsy, the opposite side lower part of the face is paralyzed. But in lower motor type of paralysis when facial nerves cut here both upper part and lower part paralyzed. So this is the difference between bell palsy and stroke. Strokes means the lesions of the upper motor neuron type of lesion and bell palsy means lower motor type of lesions. So these are the difference. The in bell palsy, upper part is always affected, lower part is always affected. In stroke or upper motor neuron type of lesion, upper part may or may not affected because the upper part is supplied by the both motor cortex. If two motor cortex is involved in stroke, then the upper part of the face is affected. If one side is affected, the other side is supply. So, there is a no lesion found in the upper part of the face. So, these are the symptoms of the Bell's palsy. Uh, these are the detailed symptom, sign and symptom of the Bell's palsy. Thank you for watching.